He has a, he has the right to have his opinion. He has the right. He can be an error. You're making an irrelevant point. You're diverting. I'm not. I'm not. Look, look. Please just address the example I have given you. If I am wrong, and the example I have given. Two or more daughters, a wife, a mother, or a partner. Can you read the verse for eleven and see whether your understanding is correct? Allah instructs you Allah concerning your children, <coughs> concerning your for, children. The male, for the male, what is equal to the share of two females. <laughs> right. But what do you understand? But, if there, Wait, are, no, 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 but if there are only daughters, two or more, yeah. for them is two thirds of one's estate. Okay. Okay. What do you understand? So the Quran this? is so far saying yes. that kind of two thirds of the man's estate is to go to his daughters. And it, it, the, the in what case? In what case? In what case? In what, in what case? Okay. In, I'm asking a question. The Quran goes case? on to say. In what case? And no if there is only, and there is no son. And there is no son. And what if there are sons in the three daughters? Then what? We're not talking According about this case. But the Quran, the Quran goes on. on. And if there is only one for her is half, and for one's parents, to each of them is a sixth of his estate if he left children. Okay. So, so far, we have given oh away two thirds of the estate to the daughters. <laughs> and now, one sixth of the estate to the mother, and one sixth of the estate to the father. We have now given away a two thirds plus a sixth plus a sixth equals one. All of the estate has now been given away. But the Quran continues. It goes on to say in verse 12 of Surah 4, and for you, is half of what your wives leave if they have no child. But if they have a child for you is one fourth of what they leave. But if you leave a child, then for them is an eighth of what you leave. So the Quran is also telling you to give away an eighth of your estate to the wife. So let us add it all up. You give away two thirds to the daughters, a sixth to the mother, a sixth to the father, and an eighth to the wife. How much does that add up to? It's crazy. It's crazy. Nine eight. It's crazy. Nine eighths. One and one eighth. A hundred and twelve point five percent. And you cannot give away more than one hundred percent of the estate, can you? You can't give away more than 100% of anything. Okay. Okay. It is exactly the same as if, it is exactly as, impo as impossible as if I said to you, give, a, uh, give half of your pizza to your son, okay. half of your pizza to your daughter, and half of your pizza to your cousin. If I said that to someone, you would tell me that's impossible. You made a mistake. Because finish, finish. there is a mistake here. You can't give away more than 100%. Okay. Do you know how the and yet, the Quran is telling you to do exactly that. I, I'll ask you a question. And the reason is because you know how the, the Quran is not written in by a hyper-intelligent God. Like it is written, yeah, it, is like written it is written it is by to know. a man made his mind who up. lives in the 7th century who cannot do fractions. And he wants to so, the word. Adnan, I'm giving Can you I another chance. No, I'm giving you do another chance. Do you know chance. the denominators in these verses? Tell me. Do you know the denominators in these verses? I want you to tell me exactly how I am wrong. I'm giving Adnan a chance. Give him more time. These verses are clearly dealing with different situations, people with different number of children and a different number of inheritance, right? <coughs> so Quran is giving different scenarios and how to work them out. The scholars of Islam have worked them out with uh, different denominators, right? <coughs> He oh. clearly doesn't understand. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Do you want the answer? Do you yes. want the answer? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. It's, it's clear that you, you have a very superficial understanding of the Quran. Would you accept? Would you accept? Would you accept that? Would you accept that? In, in, in this matter, no. The Quran is not common sense. No. 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 You need, in this you need matter, to study. Is neuroscience, is neuroscience common sense? Is neuroscience common sense? Okay. Is neuroscience common sense? In this matter, what I'm saying agrees with tafsir. I have read the tafsir for this you verse. You cannot. Quran so is a complex book that needs to be explained by scholars who know the Arabic language tell us and they know the context. Happened. They know they know what is in the Quran and they know the history of these. Okay. Okay. Don't buy it. Okay. 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 Don't buy it. Don't buy, it. Don't buy, it. Don't buy, it. buy something else. Is <laughs> buy a coffee. Buy a coffee. I'm fasting. So, and so, if, if what I have said is false. Okay. So then now, I ask you, now, Adnan, yes. what is meant? How are you meant to divide the inheritance of a man 
who lives by, who has two daughters, a mother, a father, and a wife. How are you meant to divide his inheritance? Tell you want? To, you really want to know? I want to know okay. the exact uh, answer to okay. that question. Okay. I will. If I give you an answer. The exact okay. answer. Okay. Okay. I will. I. This needs calculation. Did you know yes. that? It needs mathematics. And I am. I'm not. Uh, I don't have a calculator fitted in my head. Oh, okay. Oh, no. 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 Principles. Oh, yeah, you have principle. to understand. You know inheritance. Okay. Okay. Can you answer me? Five sons. Two daughters and three wives, and I said, "Hello." And, and he said, "Blah blah blah." But anyway, so I didn't do blah 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 blah. <laughs> okay, I, I, I didn't I, do I, that. I, I didn't do that. That's your version of my words. Just you know, like the Quran, he is doing blah 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 blah. Tell us what is the Quran is doing blah 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 blah. Tell us what okay. is meant to happen. Okay, wait. Okay, let me explain. Tell us what is meant let me explain. I'm gonna ask you a question now. If your father owns. Five. No, no, my, no, 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 no. I'm asking. No, I'm gonna. Not. I'm you gonna are. show you how stupid tell you are. Me, tell me what the shares no, are meant to be in this example. situation. Okay, I'm answering your question. No, tell me. I'm, what the I'm answering your question. No, no, I'm answering your question. This is a question. I'm answering. This is a question that can be answered. With just I a can I answer your question? Tell can me. You, tell me the exact answer. Will you let me? Right, exact answer. Is the what? What's your name? Yes or no? What's your name? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? What's your name? What's your name? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? What's your name? Yes or no? You see how it feels? You see how it feels? You're being stupid. You're being stupid. Be civilized. Be an be an English gentleman, right? And let me talk to you. I'm not English, but I can be a gentleman. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Follow English manners. Follow follow English manners, right? Okay. Don't try to imitate Trump. Because you're not as good as him. Trust me. Okay. Now the question is, if your father owns a property worth. No, that's not the question. That's not. The he question. answered. He answered. He answered. He answered. Are you not embarrassed by him? No, he's no. right. You're he's right. I, I am. He's what? I haven't even said anything. Answer. And you think I'm babbling? You're asking him a question. question. Excuse, Excuse me. me. I'm I'm Rob, you were exposed. Excuse you were exposed a number of times. You give an example to the pizza. I need to give him an example. I'm going to answer. Parents and the wife. There's a reason why he doesn't want me to talk. Because he knows the more I will talk, the more he even looks stupid. Give us the exact answer. I am trying to give an exact answer. Him, I'm, I'm asking. I'm he, asking your question. Okay, he's going to divert. I'm, I'm, going to allow I'm asking your question. Uh, everyone, everyone, everyone listen to please, how he diverts. Please, can you shut up and let him answer? Can you can you be quiet for one minute? I'll give you another chance. <laughs> thank you for your chance. <laughs> thank you for saving my life. Thank you for thank you for saving my life. I've been trying. I've been trying to get you. Can I ask you? Can I ask your question? I'm giving you another chance. Wow. Let the man speak. Come on, Are you interested in the truth of it? Can you be quiet for one minute? Okay, he's quiet. Rob, you. do you agree with these manners? I'll give you 50 pounds if you're shut up. Do you agree with these manners? Why do, you, why do you guys lose your standard and your morality oh, over, the, over a discussion? Okay, okay, you can okay, simply I'll say I'll he's wrong. You can simply. You know what he's doing. Jamie, give him yeah. a minute. Come yeah, here. thank you. Now listen to Rob. Okay. Now, Jamie or James, I have a question. If your father owns five hundred, a property worth 550000 and five. Five hundred and fifty thousand and eight hundred and eighty-three pounds. Okay, simple question. And your father left behind two daughters, two sons, and two parents, right? Mother and father, right? Yes. How would you distribute their wealth? How would you break it down? By according to the English law. Yeah. Okay, according to the Islamic law, as you understand it. Go on. How, how, I want a quick answer. Okay. Quick answer. You, you claim to have an understanding of these verses, yeah. which I don't. I'm clearly ignorant. I'm clearly ignorant. You are, you are trying to teach us. You're trying to teach us now. Can you give me a breakdown of these verses according to your understanding, whatever your understanding is? A man who owns a property of 550,883 pounds, he's got two daughters, three sons, and two parents. How would he distribute this wealth? How would you do it? How would you do it? Go on. I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to interrupt me? No. Okay. One minute. So according, one minute. according to the Quran, what it says, as I've gone through, is that two thirds of the estate, which is equal to, you know, 500,833, I think, pounds, two thirds of that will go to the daughters, and each daughter will get an equal amount. Then you do, you, you do the say you multiply the, the value of the estate by a sixth, and you give that to the father. You multiply the value of the estate by a sixth and you give that to the mother. And you multiply the value of the estate by an eighth and you give that to the wife. 
This, of course, doesn't work because the shares add up to more than 100%, as I've already explained. And so the Quran is in error here. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot follow, you cannot follow the instructions in the the Quran perfectly because because the instructions in the Quran, are, you know, they don't work. They they they're mathematically flawed. And so in order to compensate for this, Muslim scholars have had to later fix it by coming up with uh, Islamic jurisprudence, which does something different to what it says in the Quran. Are you finished? Yeah. So you didn't answer my question? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Because you still don't know how the Quranic inheritance works. You Are you finished? Yeah. So you didn't answer my question? No, I did. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Because you still don't know how the Quranic inheritance works. You have no idea. You haven't studied it. Okay.